Okay, we're continuing with these dagger tutorials. Um, so last episode was scopes and why you should never use singleton. Um, if any didn't watch the last episode till the end, don't ever use a singleton annotation. Use a custom scope. Singleton is terrible. Uh, the basic summary of scope was a scope will limit your dependency creation to one instance per graph per component instance. So when you kill this build this component will always return the same instance. Uh, there's a so that's scopes. There's um, an issue with crossing scopes, which we'll get to in the next episode. I wanted to talk about qualifiers very quickly, so this will be very short. Qualifiers are simple. Um, so let's say we have two network services we want to create, okay? And both of them depend on a retrofit. What happens if we have two of the same type is basically what I'm saying. When you have two of the same type, you need some way to tell Dagger to distinguish between them because that's what Dagger uses. Dagger will inject retrofit to retrofit. It'll inject GitHub service to GitHub service. But if you've got two of the same type, well, Dagger will fail. It'll tell you what's wrong and you need to make a qualifier. Now, a qualifier is an annotation that allows you to differentiate between the two. So what we're going to do now is we're going to make a context qualifier. So this is our context module here, okay? We're going to duplicate this and we're going to call it activity module. This is only for demonstration purposes. I wouldn't actually do this and you shouldn't either, okay? And we have an activity coming in here. Now we still want this to be a context. The problem is we can't tell the difference between this context and this context. So this context here is actually our application context. So I'll just add that to it. Now activity context and application context are two different things. You need to look those up if you don't understand that. It's a very important Android point. Now if I add this activity module to our component, we'll get an error when we build. You can nearly hear the fans spinning up in the background. As the build occurs, takes a second. Okay, so context is bound multiple times. So how do we fix that? Well, it's actually quite simple. There's two ways of fixing it. You can use what's called a named annotation and a qualifier annotation. And a named annotation is a qualifier, by the way. So let's make an application context thing. So basically, you put in at named, okay. And this takes a parameter of a string, which is the name. So we're going to say this application context. Excellent. And in our activity, we can say activity context. And then wherever we're using context, so um, I think our only use, oh, it's used in Picasso and somewhere else, okay? So Picasso requires us, so we want our application context here. So when you put at named in front of the parameter, it tells it to say, this says, oh, this is an application context, which will result in using the application context. And then we need this inside our network module for our file. Okay. Now when we build it, it will work. And it works fine. Now the problem is at named is a little bit of a clunky annotation because you need to keep these strings the same, you need to keep exactly the same. So you end up with a slightly clunkiness to it. Now if we look at at named, like we looked at singleton, we'll notice that it's simply an annotation, but it has this weird qualifier. So you can actually write a custom qualifier, which we're going to do now. We're going to write application context qualifier. Okay, and this is an at interface. And we're literally going to put at qualifier on it, okay? This makes it a qualifier. It's the exact same as creating a scope. And now we have our application context, which means we can just put in at application context. And then inside our context module, we put the annotation in here. And this will work fine. 
So this is really useful for giving things a little bit more. Oh, I never put inside the Bacasta module because I'm stupid. A little bit of a better. Um, it's more descriptive, and it's easier to read. And you can also just use uh, find usages, so you can see where it's coming from and going to. It's nice and handy, and all that. And that's basically qualifiers in a nutshell. Dirt simple at name. Job done. Two seconds. Okay, so that's basic qualifiers.